Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. We are on March 2nd, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the Daily Dew. Looking at space weather, world weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, anything that's affecting humanity. God bless you all for joining me. Welcome to the family. Starting out here looking at the sun as I've been reporting over this past week. We definitely have seen an increase in sunspots incoming images here two quickly forming sunspots about to go into the earth facing position a lot of outgoing activity very spastic flares and cmes plasma filaments very active ever since that large plasma filament snapped onto the sun about a week ago looking here at the quickly forming sunspots my oh my, right on the opposite of the two sunspots that just formed Earth facing a few days ago. Large Earth facing coronal hole as well. And we're already seeing a uh, coronal hole wind stream increase as our wind speeds are over 650 kilometers per second right now. Just look at our magnetosphere. It is being, we are being whacked by 650 kilometer per second solar winds right now. And the pressure is immense. The density is not as much, but the pressure, look at our planet being squeezed. Amazing stuff. We've got an increase in seismicity across the planet as we had a KP index of six on March 1st. And now we're expecting a KP index of four or possibly five for the third tomorrow and we're seeing now this coronal hole wind stream affecting us over 640 kilometers per second amazing planet looking here at the schumann resonance for today kind of a very calm buzz but you could see that dark dark signature coming in through there not really sure what that's about if anybody knows more about that signature in particular, please let me know in the comment section. But yeah, very quiet, calm, amplitude power of 11, quality of 8.4, frequency max of 8.14. Looking here at earthquakes the last 24 hours, just recently, a 5.0 earthquake, South America. In Peru, northern Peru, just near the coast of northern Peru. Just yesterday, they reported the 5.1 in Colombia. Seeing here today, 3.8 in Daniel Flores, Costa Rica. And Mexico as well, a rocking with a 4.4 and a 4.2. Puerto Rico still minor swarm across the United States here, Ratcliffe City, Oklahoma, 2.6 still, still seeing a lot of small quakes throughout Oklahoma, as well here in Nixon, Texas, 2.56 kilometer depth, coastline of Texas, a couple minor rumbles along the California, Barstow, California, 2.7, as well, Little Rock, California, 8 kilometer depth, Lonely 3.1 earthquake here, Brand Bandon, Oregon. Quiet across the North American plate, somewhat. When you look at the last seven days, you would think differently, though. Northwestern Ring of Fire, very active. Adak, Alaska going off with a 4.7, as well, Russia, a 
5.8 here in Shekhatan, Russia. 4.3 in Shimota, Japan. 4.5 in Naga, Japan. And as well, Hangshun, Taiwan. 5.5 recorded there yesterday or late last night. 5.0 here recorded in Yigo Village, Guam. 4.7. 12 Indonesia so stay aware and prepared everyone living around the 12 12 uh 12 volcano as last year it uh, evaporated and collapsed as well through Fiji some very deep earthquakes 530 kilometer depth a couple of them and we're already seeing the large earthquakes continue in the region 5.2 in the loyalty islands region Vanuatu, sorry. As well, Hawaii, minor earthquakes. All across the islands through Hawaii. South American plate. Argentina, 4.6. And as well, a 4.7 here in Iceland, recorded here today in Vogar, Iceland. And that is all around... The one large volcano on the southwestern corner of Iceland. Many earthquakes over the last seven days. Just giving a quick look here around the last 24 hours. Definitely going to be keeping an eye on Indonesia and 12 volcano. But we just had this earthquake in. A 4.5 has just erupted in Pamanzi, Mayotte. That's the last thing we need is Miot waking up during a very busy climactic time for volcanoes. Have a look here. The last seven days for earthquakes. Quiet African plate up into Eurasia. You can see all the earthquakes through Iceland. North American plate. And as well, New Zealand. If they don't show all the earthquakes on this map, you have to go over here to Geonet. And look at New Zealand. Many, many earthquakes through New Zealand today. You have to really wonder what is happening to our ocean floor right now. Are all these rifts just waking up along the ocean floor, along the continents everywhere? Earth is under a lot of immense pressure right now. Let's have a look at the last 24 hours for volcano updates. Era in Japan, Sabinkai in Peru. Sinabung, Indonesia, Popo, Mexico, Suicide de Chima, Japan, Fuego, Guatemala, Samaru, Indonesia. Rolling through here, Sangay, Ecuador, Etna, in Italy, Reventador, Ecuador, Decono, Indonesia, Pacaya, Guatemala. So that's about 14 volcanoes, and that's regular now. About 14 volcanoes being updated, and you know that we have over 48, if not 50, erupting around the planet looking here at the two tropical storms on the planet tropical cyclone niran and as well tropical cyclone marion only two major storms to talk about right now quite an immense low pressure system affecting madagascar over the next couple days let's get to the five-day forecast brought to you by meteor earth and meteor mike with morning dew starting out here calgary alberta as yeah during the day, it warms up, and at night, temperatures drop back down. Southwest winds coming from a large Pacific low off the coastline there is going to leave Chinook-like conditions here in the foothills, and we're just loving it. So yeah, five-day forecast showing quite a system moving into the BC coastline. Going to bring a lot of rain and snow to parts of southern BC, and then watch for this large system to spawn off a little one along the way in the long range forecast could be a doozy of a storm uh, including strong winds and a lot of rain across most of central plains canada and the u.s very dry high pressure ridge moving in going to envelop the low that develops over colorado in the later in the week so nothing major to talk about across the united states 
big player here is the big storm affecting Atlantic Canada, parts of Newfoundland and Quebec. And then we'll be heading to Greenland in the end of the forecast here. Atlantic still acting very funny here. Strong high pressure ridge hanging off the coast of Africa. Interesting jet streams all these low pressure systems are following now. And when there's nothing to stop these systems from getting bigger and bigger and bigger, you got to wonder what's going to happen in the future. Look at the size of the system coming in to parts of Finland and as well Norway. Holy moly, that's a big low pressure system and it's whipping up a lot of snow and a lot of cold conditions. So most of Europe, same thing, pretty dry. Interesting low pressure system here heading into the heading into the African coast later in the week. Could be a messy situation in the Mediterranean at long range forecast. Overlooking the African continent, daily evaporation rains. And as well, this large low pressure system that will be affecting Madagascar. In the coming days, probably won't see the sun for about four days. Overlooking East Indies and the West Indies. Cool temperatures prevailing northern Russia. System here moving into parts of northern Kuwait and Iran. Mountainous regions. Southeast Asia, not too much to talk about really. China seeing some rain midweek, but moving out, big high pressure ridge moving in. Overlooking Indonesia, daily evaporation rains continue. Dry through the Philippines for a few days. Heavy rains through Sumatra. All around Krakatoa and Anak Krakatoa. Big system here. Tropical cyclone Niran will be heading, just missing New Caledonia. But heads up, they will be whipping up a lot of rain. Australian continent, dry. Parts of West, Southwest Australia, you're going to see a little bit of rain early in the week, but not too much to talk about. Things are warming up. Well, not warming up, but drying up. <laughs> Overlooking South America, daily evaporation rains heavier towards the culprit, the Brazil Argentina border, right up into Paraguay. Big system here moving in to parts of the South Atlantic. Gonna leave you here looking at our very strange weather patterns southern hemisphere versus the northern pointing out the big systems that will be affecting us during the week and as well the large systems that seem to be just getting bigger lots of rain for New Zealand much love to you all and thank you for watching today I appreciate all of your support the love and the likes comments and everything hopefully i'm getting caught up on comments i know i've still got hundreds to get to but thanks for watching today stay aware and prepared stay young and have fun and get your morning due bye bye now if you enjoyed today's video please hit that like button subscribe share with your friends and family from across the world